technology can quickly help restore weakening supply chains and business activity brought about by disruptions of the COVID-19 pandemic. We can e clear at, uh, at uh, Port of Mombasa, e clear at the entry point and exit point. It, it will reduce the, the actual physical human, human uh, you know, get out of the truck, take the, the, the documents to be cleared at the customs and then come back to your truck. But if all this is done prior to your arrival and on arrival at the border, you just uh, maybe uh, swipe on uh, uh, a barcode and then exit or enter into the country to be much quicker. But you see, this has to be a unified approach by the East African community governments. Uh, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, South Sudan, Eastern DRC, all of them have to have the same platform that enables uh, logistics to be, uh, cargo to be cleared seamlessly. Yesterday, in a virtual meeting convened by President Paul Kagame of Rwanda, the current East African Community Chairperson, heads of state agreed to prioritize the implementation of measures that will ensure an interrupted cross-border movement of goods even as the region continues to battle coronavirus. With continued problems in regional and global supply chains, there's consensus that heavy reliance on paper-based records, a lack of visibility on data, has made existing supply chain systems vulnerable to any pandemic.